Hello, Ravinda. Am I audible? Yeah, uh, so welcome everybody. We are going to wait for a few minutes. We'll let everybody join in so nobody misses any portion of the session. Once everybody joins in, we'll start our session. So we are right now waiting for the rest of uh, your peers to join in. Once everybody joins in, we'll start the session. So please wait for a few minutes. Stay connected. Don't go anywhere. We'll be starting our session very soon.
welcome everybody uh, please wait for a few minutes we'll start our session soon uh, we are waiting for everybody to join in so it might take few minutes for everybody to join in so please wait for a few minutes we'll we'll be starting our session very soon let everybody join in so we don't have to repeat anything for anyone so we'll start very soon just wait for a few minutes stay connected don't go anywhere we'll be starting our session in next 5 to 6 minutes so please wait those of you who have connected please wait uh, we are waiting for few more of you to connect so we'll be starting very soon Welcome everybody. Uh, we'll be starting our session very soon. Just we are, we'll just wait for a few more minutes so that everybody joins in. Once everybody joins in, we'll start our session. Just wait for a few minutes. Everybody stay connected. We, we are starting our session very soon. Okay, so we are going to start our session now. Um, first of all, I like to thank all the faculties who are, who have joined us today. I would like to thank uh, Adani Vidya Mandir School for letting us organize this seminar. I would like to thank all the uh, faculties and all the um, all the higher authorities of the school. So thank you, Principal, Ma'am, or Sir, uh, and. we welcome everybody who has joined us in this session good afternoon everybody so welcome all teachers welcome all parents and welcome all students we are going to start our session now okay so i hope i am audible and my screen is visible to everybody uh if you guys face any problems just write inside the chat box during the session uh please avoid sending me a personal message write in everyone so that there is Ravinder with me he, he will try and answer to your queries uh, i might not be able to look at chat often so please write it to everybody ravinder will try and answer to your queries okay so i think i should start my session now okay so i'll start with a brief introduction of stempedia first 
So STEMpedia is a one-stop solution for everything related to STEM. So STEM, uh, I'll talk about STEM later on in this, but it, uh, we have developed an ecosystem around STEM skills to teach students importance of programming, physical computing, robotics, IoT, artificial intelligence, and much more. Uh, what we have developed is we have developed a playful experience by enlightening young minds about new tech age. Okay, so we have uh, kept a team of learning by doing and we have developed an entire ecosystem around STEM skills. Okay, so I'll just uh, show you the session outline for the day. So today we'll be looking at how kids like you or parents, if your your kids or teachers, your students can learn about artificial intelligence. So uh, here is an outline of our webinar. We'll kick start it by introducing you what what is AI. Then we'll understand about it more by comparing it with human intelligence. Then I'll introduce you to our own software, Pictoblocks, which you can use to make artificial intelligence and machine learning related projects. Then we'll look into various tools like face detection, speech recognition, etc., to make artificial intelligence and machine learning related projects. And lastly, we'll look at um, a course that we have developed on artificial intelligence. Okay, so furthermore, I'll just uh, give out a few general instructions. So I'll request everybody to not to ask for permission to speak up because we have uh, around 200 students, so I can't let everybody speak up. So you can use chat for all the communication. Uh, there is Ravinder inside the chat, so you can communicate with him. He'll be happy to answer to your queries. If you have doubts, uh, just uh, we have an question and answer session uh, scheduled for the end. So please uh, have your doubts, uh, just note down your doubts, but we'll be answering all your queries towards the end of the session. Okay, so we'll answer to all the queries, but we'll answer it during the towards the end of the session because we can't uh, keep, inter keep interrupting the session again and again. Okay, so apart from this, uh, please maintain some uh, dignity inside the chat box. I refrain you from, uh, I'll just like to re uh, request you to refrain from using any uh, harmful language in the chat box. Okay, so once that is it, we can start with our session now without wasting further time. Okay, so the first thing that we'll start with is how do you feel when? you get all the questions correct in a tough exam. Okay, so this is like questions that I'm asking you. You can write the answers inside chat box. So how do you feel when you get all the questions correct in a tough exam? How do you feel when you uh, solve a challenging puzzle in a record time? It can be either Rubik's Cube or let's say you are making a real puzzle. It can be any kind of a puzzle that you solve in a record time. Okay, then uh, let's say if you guys, uh, we are from India, all of us, so we guys remember the name of cricket players more often. Now, let's say if you can remember all the names of all the players from a football team, how will you feel like, uh, yes, you are able to recognize each and every football player from your favorite football team. Then let's say you crack a joke and your friends laugh at that joke very hard. Okay, so uh, like your friends praise you for that joke. How will you feel? Okay, so like, uh, what are, what is the background feeling that you are going to feel in your head? What kind of emotions go through uh, through you when you do this kind of things? Okay, let's say you have scored hundred out of hundred in an exam. How do you feel? Okay, so how do you feel in front of your parents, in front of your friends, in front of your teacher? Okay, so the feeling can be described as you feel like I'm, yes, I'm so intelligent. Okay, so now that is a feeling that I'm intelligent, that I understand everything. Uh, I, I have knowledge about something. Okay, so how can we define that particular feeling? So that feeling is called as human intelligence and it can be described as the ability to pursue, understand and analyze information. The ability to learn and increase the knowledge, the ability to make decisions based on that knowledge. Okay, so let's say you are able to understand all the information and I'm, I'm trying to say something to you you are able to understand that information okay then what will happen when you understand all that information it will increase your knowledge okay at some point of time you will say this thing to somebody else or it will you will showcase that you already know this thing okay then 
what it will develop in future that you will have an ability to make decisions based on your knowledge okay so you have your knowledge now you are able to make decisions based on that knowledge so this is what makes us intelligent this is how we can differentiate human from other animals because we have something called as human intelligence and we are uh, we are somewhat more intelligent than few other animals okay so now you understand that uh, why humans are intelligent or what is human intelligence we'll try and correlate the same thing with artificial intelligence okay so topic for our today's day is artificial intelligence but we are starting with human intelligence if you have understood the meaning of human intelligence by now then you will be easily able to understand what is the meaning of artificial intelligence okay so moving further artificial intelligence is the design of intelligent computer okay so what are intelligent computer right now just take an example i am going to put something like a piece of cake or a slice of pizza in front of my computer is my computer going to understand what it has to do with it i am going to give my computer a book does my computer know that what a uh, computer should do with that book no it doesn't understand those things right uh, right now like anybody can be sitting in front of my computer computer doesn't understand the difference between me or any other person okay so when we are we are going to make our computers intelligent so what are intelligent computers the computers which can mimic human intelligence so we as humans understand that this is food we have to eat it this is a book we have to read it let's say there is a ball then we have to play with it okay so we understand those things in the same way if our computers are able to mimic this human emotions then you can call that our computers are intelligent so this can be like identifying objects from images like we do with our eyes and brains it can be recognizing faces it can be uh, recognizing speech and much more but when do we truly say that computer is called intelligent so computer is termed as intelligent if it has ability to gather information through camera okay so you can have like lots and lots of ways by which your computer can gather information okay first one could be camera second one could be microphone third one it can have some other kind of uh, sensors or uh, sensory things that can uh, detect something that is in front of it okay then it has an ability to analyze those things based on information and then it has an ability to take decisions automatically based on that information so you don't have any human intervention then automatically your computers will know that what it has it has to do with those certain things okay now we'll look at some examples like right now it's just a theory you you might not understand it just wait for a few seconds we'll show you some examples and you will be able to understand that uh, how our computers have already been made intelligent okay so the first example is snapchat and alexa so snapchat being the first one uh, that has some kind of a facial filters uh, within it so it can recognize your face it can recognize the features of your face so this is eyes this is nose this is mouth this is cheeks your uh, the camera on, in front of you has that ability to understand those features on your face your normal camera inside your phone it doesn't have that ability to understand those features but snapchat understands those features and by understanding those features it can apply this kind of filters in on your face so facebook snapchat instagram there are so many social media applications which uses this uh, which is very similar to human vision because it can understand a human's face and by recognizing that face it is able to apply such filters on top of a person's face okay so you don't you guys have been using this technology without even realizing it that it is an application of artificial intelligence then uh, there is an sim other simple example that is alexa uh, you can compare alexa as uh, as a virtual assistant or you can uh, remember if you guys can remember cd on your iphones or google assistant on your normal phones this has become a reality that each and every phone is loaded with such kind of virtual assistants which can recognize your speech right now if you will say to your computer computer uh, start playing this music 
it won't understand those things but now if you enable something if you are on windows uh, laptop or a pc then you will have something called as cortana so cortana understands those things alexa understands those things you can see alexa recognize the uh, what's the weather outside it will give you in real time information on weather that is outside okay so these are very common day to day life examples many of you might have seen it many of my uh, you might have even used this kind of things okay then there is an industrial application so uh once you have applied everything inside your home then there is also an application inside artificial intelligence that is completely different and you guys might not have seen this applications but these are in our day to day life industries where we are making things uh wherever like there is lots of manufacturing takes place this kind of um, applications are very common to see here what we are doing is we are using something called as computer vision and industrial robots to make something called as a pancake sorter so what is happening here camera recognizes all the pancakes that is moving in front of it then it is numbering those pancakes and that robotic arm is picking up those pancakes in that particular order and it is uh, sorting it in a particular single line okay so this is something uh, that is used inside food industry but there are like almost each and every uh, industry nowadays uses some or other kind of industrial robots combined with computer vision to take decisions based on it okay then there is something called as self driving cars okay so this is like a uh, most common project that uh, we you guys might have seen as an application of artificial intelligence that is a self driving car so what happens inside a self driving car uh you don't need a human to drive that car your car automatically runs okay so how does your car automatically run how does your car automatically know that this a person that is moving on uh, on road how does your car automatically understand that there is a, a bus that is going so in order to understand those things in order to understand those things what we need to do is we need to have something called as artificial intelligence that is able to understand this thing so yeah i have been seeing some messages that uh, that are uh, they are saying like tesla uses th this thing yes it is correct so tesla uses this for automatic parking so it has a feature where you are going on a highway and then you can have it uh, have your car automatically driving it you don't have to do anything okay so there are like so many cars that already uh, there are so many cars that already uses this kind of technology google has also come up with an uh, car that is called as uh, which is google um, google car or it was like google self driving car so it was also a very uh, prominent project that was uh, that was very widely circulated so you guys might have heard about it you guys can search about this uh, how self driving cars work so you can do it later on so this is one application where a car is able to mimic a human's ability to drive or human's ability to recognize different things on your road okay next thing is why artificial intelligence is important for you guys okay so artificial intelligence is important for you guys for uh, the following reasons first one being we guys don't want you to become a passive consumer of this technologies we want you guys to become an active participant of this technology okay so we don't want you to become passive consumer is passive consumer is someone who uses technology but doesn't isn't aware with details of that technology but when you are an active contributor to that technology you will understand how these things are working and you will be able to solve your uh, real life problems with the help of artificial intelligence okay then it will help you develop interest in stem so i as i said earlier i'll talk to you about what is stem so stem skills are skills that is um, associated around science technology engineering and mathematics so when you combine all this fields together there is an interdisciplinary field that is developed which is called as stem 
So STEM skills are, uh, are the latest skills that, that will be in the trend for 21st century. And you guys will be able to do a lot of activities related to STEM if you guys are aware with artificial intelligence. Then it will also help you develop your programming skills in general. It will also help you develop your problem solving skills. And you will also ignite some curiosity about what things in your real world actually uses artificial intelligence or where in your real world you guys can apply your art artificial intelligence okay so there are like lots and lots of applications you guys need to think of some applications once you have thought about those applications you guys can make projects related to it inside uh vector blocks so i'll come to vector blocks now so okay so this is vector blocks what is Pectoblocks? A Pectoblocks is a graphical programming software which is developed for students to learn coding by making games, animations, physical computing, programmable robots, artificial intelligence, and much more. So this is based on Scratch, which has been developed by MIT. So this is um, this is kind of a this is kind of a bit different from Scratch. If you guys are aware with Scratch you might find this easy but it has lots of additional features that has been incorporated into single software so that you can do artificial intelligence and iot robotics those kind of projects in in a single platform itself okay so you guys can also make games with this software okay so i'll just uh, show you a brief introduction about pectoblocks okay so I hope you guys are able to see my Pectoblock screen. So this is my traditional Pectoblock screen. So yeah, uh, some of you, I am seeing some messages here, uh, that we have down, uh, we have used Scratch. So if you have used Scratch, it will be very good for you. You will be very easily able to understand things inside this. But if you you haven't used it, then also it is very easy to understand. It's very easy and simple thing. I'll just uh, show you a just basic interface of this. I'll just turn off my camera so it doesn't interfere with the screen. Okay. Uh, okay. So I'll start with this portion. So this is your typical Pictoblock screen. Once you have downloaded Pictoblock you guys will be able to see the screen okay so this is your traditional picture block screen this portion here on the left hand side if you guys can see it on the right hand side sorry so the, where there is this bell like character there is this square particular area white blank square area okay this area it is called a stage so what i'll be doing is i'll be taking an example of a movie or play and i'll explain you this entire software okay so it's very easy to understand those of you who are aware of it, Scratch, just bear with me for now. But those who are for whom this is new, you guys will uh, understand about the software. Okay, so this area it's called a stage. Like we have a stage inside of a play or a movie. Okay, uh, in the same way, this there is a stage where your characters are going to perform, where your characters are going to uh, say dialogues. Your games will work there. Our artificial intelligence projects will work there. So whatever you will do, it will show in this particular screen here. It is called a stage. Then there is something called a sprite. So what are sprites? Sprites are nothing but characters inside the software. So you can add as many characters as you want by using this choose a sprite button. If you click on this here, it has lots and lots of different characters that are already preloaded inside this. You can use any of these characters to make your animations, to make your games, uh, do stuff like that. Then so characters of your play or a movie, you can compare it with the sprites inside this software. Then there is something called as backdrop. So what is a backdrop? So you can just click on that button and you will have this background inside the software. So you can choose your own backdrop whenever you are making any application. Okay. So you can also upload and photos to your background using upload backdrop. You can paint it. You can find any preloaded backdrop. You can do uh, those kind of things. Okay. Now, what is the next thing? Next thing is this block. So these blocks are nothing but different dialogues or actions that uh, your characters can do. So what are the different different dialogues or actions that your characters will be able to do? All those things are 
available here there are like different different color blocks are there all you have to do is in the software it's very easy you just need to drag and drop your block just drag and drop your blocks and you combine them together so there's a zoom button i'll zoom it so you just have to drag and drop your blocks and you combine them together this is what we will be doing okay now when you combine your blocks together what do you make you make a script okay so what happens when you combine dialogues inside your uh, movie or a play what do you get you get a script so in the same way in this software also whenever you combine blocks together what you get is you get a script okay so this is called as script inside the software this blank white area in which you are going to make a script it's called as scripting area okay apart from this there are few features that i'll come to what is board uh, and there is something called as add extension so if you want to add any features to this uh, you just press on this add extension button and then you will be able to add other features to this software okay so we'll come to this board portion and add extension portion uh, later on during the activity but this way you can understand like how much easy it is to understand the software so all of these things it's just drag and drop all you have to do is just click somewhere and drag and drop thing you don't have to write anything inside vector blocks okay uh, so there are few persons who are asking about whether it is available in mobile phones uh, so this is currently available for windows and mac pc but will be very soon launching it for mobile phones so i'll come to all those questions later on right now it is available in windows and mac pc if you guys have downloaded it uh, you guys can open your you guys can keep your picture block screen open so whenever i'll start doing an activity you guys can do the activity with me okay so i'll just minimize the screen okay so we have learned about picture blocks now now we'll look at what kind of uh, what kind of things are inside artificial intelligence and which kind of things you can implement by using picture blocks uh, which parameters of artificial intelligence you can use uh, you can enable by using picture blocks okay so the first one that is here it is face recognition so i'll talk about each of this um, in detail but i'll just give you an overview this are computer vision face recognition optical character recognition speech recognition and machine learning i'll be explaining each of these things in detail but uh, these are like names as uh, somewhat self explanatory so face recognition deals with something related to your face computer vision deals with something related to making your computers see some things then there is something called as then there is something called as ocr or optical character recognition when uh, you recognize the written text there is something for speech recognition and there is something called as machine learning so you guys might not understand it right now we'll look at each of these things individually and then we'll try and learn about these things okay so what is face detection so like some of you guys might be aware with what is face detection you guys have something called as face unlock or face id in your phones there is something called as face filters which detect your face once detecting your face and it is able to do something related to it you can also analyze and detect face using the tools and you can get uh, information like age gender expression and position of a particular person's face so you can look at this example here you can see there is this guy he has his face at a particular angle uh so you can see like uh, his face is at a particular angle that why that's why the square is at a particular angle so you are able to even find out at what angle his face is tilted you guys can uh, by using face recognition you are able to find out that a person is male you are able to find out an approximate age of that uh, person you are also able to like, recognize like gender you are able to recognize age you are able to recognize the position of that person's face and even the angle at which that person's face is okay so these are all the details which you can just um, get 
from a particular person face and you can act and make projects related to it okay so there is one simple game also so this is a game in which we have to recognize a person's emotion in real time so here there is this character he is saying mimic this expression and this boy he is trying to mimic all those expressions and one he is once he is able to recognize those uh recognize those emotions then uh if all the emotions are complete then this character will say that you completed the task in this many seconds okay so you did it in 13.884 second so this is like you are able to recognize a person's face you are able to rec after recognizing a person's face you are able to tell whether the person is happy or whether a person is sad or whether the person has neutral expression so you guys might have seen some movies where robots are able to make out a person's mood or a person's emotion so this is uh, kind of similar to that this is what we are trying to recreate okay so in our today's uh, activity we are going to make an application related to this we are going to recognize a emotion of persons emotion on persons face that is in front of our camera so there is also uh, the other application of face recognition is also saving a memory of persons face so uh, you guys have something called as face id in iphones or in android phones there is something called as face unlock so this is like a current feature that is currently in all the new phones or laptops where you just have to see in front of your camera and it is able to make out that this is uh, this particular person so there are two uh, I have two person in front of the camera and it can rec uh, it can recognize that this is anch and this is sara because it has memorized those face in its memory in the same way like you have memorized a person's face in your memory computers are also able to recognize a person from their memory okay so we'll do one thing uh we'll start our picture blocks and we'll start with our activity i'll just stop my camera so it doesn't interfere okay so this is our typical picture block screen we are going to make an expression recognizer um, as an activity today so we'll recognize a person's face from camera okay so when you have uh, open your picture blocks what you can do is all you have to do is first make sure that you have signed in so here there is this portion this is compulsory you need to sign in into this software the sign in here is different from the sign in that whatever you have given in webinar jam or uh, at any other location this is like you need to create your account and you need to uh, have enrolled here once you have done it next step is once you have signed in this screen should be visible like it should say your name your age and country from where you have joined in okay once this is done once sign in is done then you will then what you have to do is you need to select this go to this board and select board as evolve so these are all the boards that picture block supports but for doing an artificial intelligence related project you need to select the board as evolve so you don't actually need the board you just have to select the board evolve so this two steps sign in then select the board as evolve once you have done this next step will be add your extension okay so you'll click on the add extension this is the button that i clicked if you guys just pay attention here uh, add extension button at the bottom left corner there is an this purple button add extension click on it here select the face detection extension okay so this three steps board sign in add extension and select face detection so i have repeated it twice or thrice but if you guys still can't uh, like remember it will i'll come back to it later also if you guys haven't understood it but board sign in and add extension of face detection now we'll start with our script so as i said earlier the things that we do inside this whatever thing that we make it is called as script okay now if you guys are able to see that there is this button here flag and stop so i will start whenever i press this flag button here so i'll get this when flag is clicked block and i'll put on 
top. So I'll start with when flag is clicked. Now you need to scroll down. So just scroll down to the last portion here where you have added this face detection block. Get this turn on camera block. So select turn on video on stage with 0% transparency. So make sure you have selected this. Once you have selected this, then what you need to do is you need to continuously find out the location of person's face. Okay. So uh, how will you find out the location of person's face? So for that, you need to continuously monitor a person's face that is in front of your camera. Okay. So for that, you'll go to controls and get a forever block. So what is forever block? Whatever you put inside this forever block, it will keep on happening again and again, again and again. So whenever I'll click on this flag button, it will turn on my camera. And then whatever I'll do, it will keep on happening again and again, again and again. Okay, so what's the next thing that I need to do is, I need to analyze my face, right? So to analyze my face, I need to get the analyze block. So again, go down to the face detection. You'll get this analyze image from block. Okay. So where you have started your camera, turn on your camera, turn on your video on stage. So we have started our video on stage. So I'll select stage from this drop down menu. So whenever I'll click on my flag button, it will turn on video on stage and it will start analyzing my face. Okay. Now, I don't just need to analyze my face, but I need it to go somewhere. Okay. So to make this is a Toby character, that this Toby can go to my face. So for that, what I'll do is I'll go to costumes. I'll add a costume here. So I'll change this bear to a blank square, which will come on top of my face. Okay. So just wait a few seconds. This will get loaded. So yeah. So I'll select this box. I'll select the square box. Okay. So now you guys can see that, uh, that bear bear like character, which was standing here. He disappeared and all I have is now the square. So I'll use the square to detect my face. Okay. So you need to select the shape that you need to control. Now, once you have done this, what you will do is you will make it go, make, will move this particular square to the location of my face. So to make it go to the location of my face, I'll use this go to block. Now this, what is this uh, go to? This go to is like, it will make the square go to a particular location. What is X and Y? X and Y is a coordinate of it on this stage. So this, you can consider it as a graph that will move like to the X and Y coordinates of my face. Okay. So X and Y position of my face. So I need to feed it the X and Y position of my face. So how can I do it? I can just randomly like, um, I can't guess that what's my position of face on this uh, stage. So I'll use this get X position of face block. Okay. Once I get this X position of my face, then I'll put one more block inside the Y portion. So I'll minimize it now. So because it has become a bit long. So I'll put this here and for the Y position, what I'll do is I'll select the Y position of my face. Okay. So once this is done, I hope like it, uh, everything is visible on my screen and I'll make it go to the X position of my face. I'll make it go to the Y position of my face. So once that has reached to X and Y position of my face, then what I'll do is I'll make it the size of my face. Okay. So right now it will go to my face. So we'll, we can run it right now and we'll look at the output now. Okay. So 
so this is one project in itself uh, please wait few seconds camera will get uh, okay so you guys can see me on the screen so this box it will recognize my face and it will go to the location of my face in real time okay so there is there might be a, a video lag due to streaming but you can as you can see like the square box that will follow the location of my face if i move the box will also move it will come to the location of my face okay but right now whenever if i'm coming forward or i'm going backward the size of the box it's not changing okay so to make it change the to make it change in the size what we can do is uh, we will use a size block so we'll get a set size block and i'll insert it with i'll select so what is the size of my face so the size of my face can either be the width or the height of my face so i'll select the width of my face because i wanted the want the square box to be of this much size i want it to be of width of my face so lens will become too big i'll select the width of my face okay so now whenever i'll start this it will go to the location of my face okay if i'll come closer it will increase in size if i'll go away it will decrease in size okay so you guys can see like whether if i'll move this side it will come to this position if i'll come closer it will increase in size okay so we are able to recognize all these features now now as i said earlier what was our objective today our objective was to recognize the expression of our face okay so to recognize uh, your expression of your face what we'll do is we'll use a say block okay i'll select this for 1 second so every 1 second it will say the change in my expression to get the expression of my face i'll go back i'll just scroll down i'll scroll down i'll get expression of face one so there is only one face in front of me so it will say get expression of face one so now whenever i click on this flag button let's see what happens now it is saying neutral it will say happy it will say surprise okay so it will recognize whatever the expression is of my face and it will say that expression for me okay so apart from going to the position of my face it is also able to uh, and setting the size it is also able to recognize the expression that is on my face so you guys can make this i'll share this script uh, with you guys on inside the group so you guys can get the script from the group and you can make this on your own you need to uh, do some steps so if you haven't done the sign in or those part is left then you can sign in and then you can try doing this activity on your own okay so i'll just turn off my camera from here okay and we'll go back to our presentation okay so okay so moving forward uh, what else you can do is with the help of computer vision you are what you are doing is you are mimicking a human's vision you can recognize objects you can recognize brands you can recognize celebrities you can recognize famous landmarks so you can do all that with the help of object detection with the help of computer vision then uh, here there is an example 
where we are analyzing this image for object so you can also do this activity as well inside picture block so you are able to recognize an object so this is a object detection is a very important part of artificial intelligence okay so you are able to recognize something called a sports ball baseball bat or and a person so analyzing persons analyzing this kind of features is a uh, part of artificial intelligence okay so we are getting uh, information about height width size and location of this objects now there is something called as brand recognition okay so how does how will computer understand the difference between what is mcdonald's and what is kfc okay so to understand the difference between both what we use is we, we use something called as brand detection which can detect the logos of famous brands which can interpret uh, the common most common logos and it can give you the name of the brand that is in front of you okay apart from this it is also able to recognize the size of the brand's logo and it is also able to recognize the position of the brand's logo brand's logo in your image okay next thing is recognizing famous personality so whether it may be shahrukh khan or robert downey jr or chris evans it can be any celebrity you can you just put in the face of a celebrity and it it will be able to recognize who that celebrity is in front of you okay then there is something called as uh recognizing landmarks from images okay so you might have seen some uh things inside your camera uh, gallery or those kind of things that you are able to uh, without having any location information it is able to understand that this image was captured at this particular location so if you take a photograph at a famous uh, landmark then you are able to recognize uh, you will be if you fit it to a computer uh, artificial intelligence uh, with the help of computer vision it will be able to recognize whatever landmark it is it will be able to differentiate between those landmarks then there is something uh, very helpful topic that is ocr or optical character recognition so why do you why do we use ocr or optical character recognition okay so we use this to recognize the handwritten text and the printed text or it can be either be a pamphlet or it can be a number plate you guys can re uh, recognize all these features from any text that is in front form of image so generally if you just insert an image you won't get any information about that image but when you apply something called as ocr so if you guys have your uh, phones then if you can open your gallery on your uh, android phone then you can you can have something called as google lens so if you analyze your photo using google lens then it will just point out the written text which it has recognized from your image okay so this technology is already on your phones there are lots and lots of applications of this as well then there is an um, then there is this example where we have made a project where you can send a parcel to a person based on a handwritten text so let's imagine a world where you have so many parcels and it is not physically possible to recognize each and every each and every detail on a person's uh, parcel and then uh, feed it into the computers okay so when you have handwritten parcels you can use something called as ocr and you can convert that automatically into a computer data by recognizing the handwritten text on top of your parcel okay so this is a project where we are sending gift if the name comes up hazel then the gift will go to hazel if the name comes up john then the gift goes to john okay then there is something called as speech recognition okay so what is speech recognition uh, speech recognition is with the help of speech recognition you are able to recognize speech in 26 different languages okay uh, apart from this uh, if you guys have your phones you can use it as well like on google assistant alexa or siri in your laptops or pc there is something called as cortana so you have all these features already there in front of you but 
you need to become aware about it that it automatically doesn't understand when you speak it but there is some uh, programming that is required related to artificial intelligence and the software is which are used they are called as speech recognition software so i hope uh, the audio is clear so if you are not able to hear the audio in this video uh, this person is asking to say is saying play spider man song okay and and you are able to recognize uh, and alexa is able to recognize that person's speech and it plays that song for him okay so you guys have seen applications of this you guys might have experienced some applications of this but all this is included inside artificial intelligence the recognition software doesn't automatically work it needs some kind of training it needs some kind of intelligence to be developed inside them then there is this thing uh, this project so before explaining you the project i will tell you something about machine learning so machine learning is a method of training machines to classify image human poses and audio into different classes okay like when you start learning in early age you gradually learn to identify difference between things like cats and dogs okay so similarly you can teach machine to differentiate between cats and dogs by by the help of machine learning so there is one more example in front of it uh, in which we have made a model which is able to recognize if the person is wearing mask or not okay so mask has become a reality right now and uh, everybody wears a mask but let's say if you want to make some applications where you don't want the person to enter your home without wearing a mask so you make this kind of software and you put it in front of your home it automatically recognizes whether a person has wore a mask or not and based on that it allows an access to a person uh, who is wearing a mask or who is not wearing a mask okay so here this character is giving out a message but you can obviously like uh, you can increase some kind of programming inside it and then you can make it uh, you can have it giving you access and you can have it like uh, making something compulsory for all the students coming in school so you can have this kind of projects with help of artificial intelligence so then it is not always just boring or theory based things you can also make games with your artificial intelligence so you guys are playing lots of games right so all of these games they they have something that characters that are working on itself so this they are nothing but they are called as artificial intelligence they are trained in such a way that they are able to recognize a person's moves they are able to understand what a person is doing and it is able to take decision for itself based on those things okay now here is a rock paper scissor game so here rock paper scissor game artificial intelligence is not uh, made to beat a human being at this game but it has been made to recognize what the human expression inside it so whether a human is doing rock whether human is doing paper or whether the human is doing scissor it is able to recognize those things and then it automatically like it picks up anything in random or whether rock paper or scissor and then it compares whatever it has picked and whatever the human has picked and it compares those things and it, it is able to recognize what's the result whether the human has won this round or whether artificial intelligence has won this round okay then there is pose recognition by which you like you can recognize uh, the person who is doing some exercise so here we have recognized we have trained this model to identify different human poses to make uh, make a project where it is able to recognize how many jumping jacks this person has done so in jumping jacks there is just two position one one with hands up and one with hands down so it is able to recognize difference between these two positions and it is able to count how many jumping jacks this person has done so i'll just quickly revise this thing so we have uh, looked at few artificial intelligence and machine learning projects inside pictoblox we have learned about computer vision so with the help of computer vision you can recognize brands celebrities objects and landmarks from images then there is something called as face recognition inside artificial intelligence which deals with recognizing faces from images getting age gender expression and position of detected faces from the image 
then there is something called as optical character recognition which helps you uh, detect handwritten and printed text or uh, it is also called as ocr okay then there is something called as speech recognition inside artificial intelligence which deals with recognizing text from speech and it is very, like very similar to what alexa or your virtual assistants use then there is something called as machine learning which is the part of your artificial intelligence in which you deal and make some models and those models can you teach those models some things and they are able to classify between different images they are able to classify between human poses they are able to classify difference between different audio okay so you can learn all this in detail uh, so we have developed a course for that as well so these are the things that are included in that course so we have developed a, a course for 10 plus year old kids it has an assignments quizzes it has few projects it has um, a certificate that you know everything about this in detail okay so i'll just start, show you a brief video of what things that you are able to do with the help of artificial intelligence inside pictoblocks so i'll start a video every day new technologies influence our lives more than we realize from alexa to snapchat filters we are surrounded by artificial intelligence or ai making it important for the 21st century kids to understand it our online course on ai takes kids into the exciting world of artificial intelligence where they perform fascinating activities such as identifying celebrities in an image making a face detector recognizing handwritten and printed text building machine learning models etc in an engaging way the best part the course is based on pictoblocks a blog based programming platform that allows beginners to write code from day one anybody can take the course sitting anywhere in the world thanks to the live online sessions and parents can track their child's progress with periodic assessments and quizzes after completing the course, kids will get a certificate of completion and stand a chance to win exciting prizes. So, what are you waiting for? Hop on board and learn the skill of the future with us. Okay. So I'll just share my screen once again. Okay. okay, so I hope my screen is visible to you guys. So Okay, so we'll answer to all those uh, queries as well now. So it's sorry, uh, one second. Okay, so all of you need to. Uh, Okay, so everybody, uh, you guys can get, uh, you guys need to fill in this feedback form. There is this um, QR code in front of your screen. You guys need to fill in this feedback form. Those of you who fill in the feedback form, they, they will get the certificate for today's session. So filling in this feedback form is important. Uh, please fill this form. Meanwhile, uh, when you guys are filling up this feedback form, we have also shared this uh, link inside the chat box. So, you we have shared this link inside the chat box. You can use this link. So, you can use this link and fill up the feedback form. I'll answer to your uh, few questions that 
that has been put up by students okay so where to download pictoblog so we have shared the link for it but you guys can go to stempedia.com slash pictoblog so if you can just google stempedia.com slash pictoblog you'll get the download link for pictoblog if you are not able to find it we have shared the link as well inside the group it's just stempedia.com slash pictoblog okay is it available for mobile so a lot lot of you guys are asking for a version on mobile phone it is not currently available for mobile phones but uh, we'll be updating it on our website so within a month we are trying to launch it for mobile phones as well but currently it is available for windows and mac pc so your windows pcs and apple or mac pc it is currently available it is loaded with all the features related to artificial intelligence as well then uh, picto can pictoblox work offline yeah pictoblox will work offline but you will be only be able to do uh, animations and those kind of things if you want to work, make artificial intelligence related projects then you need an internet connection with pictoblox you need to sign in into the pictoblox okay then uh, about the artificial intelligence course if some of you guys are asking about the course so we'll share the details about the course with the school as well we'll share the details uh, about this um, inside the group as well so you guys can will get in touch you about course right uh, right now we'll discuss about uh, the things related to this session okay so you guys can just click on the link that is inside the chat you can just enter the, your details once you have filled this form then and only then you will get your certificate then what is difference between artificial intelligence and machine learning so artificial intelligence is a very bro broad topic uh, so inside the artificial intelligence there is a sub topic that is called as machine learning and machine learning is a topic which in which you teach your artificial intelligence some things and then it develops its knowledge further okay then uh okay so i'll just show you guys uh how to add the extension again board select it as revive make sure that you have signed in so for signing you need to select the join option so if you are signing in for the first time you need to select the join option you need to put in your parents email address because it will give you two options if you are above the age of 16 or not if you are below the age of 16 you need to provide your parents email address once your parents verifies your email, uh, verifies your account then and only then it will grant you access to make your own username and password okay so make sure you have signed in into the software you can take help of your parents for this then you have to do the add extension and you can add any of this artificial intelligence machine learning or face detection related to extension okay so are there any more webinars so this was the just one of session but we are planning to have more sessions for you guys so stay connected we'll update to you inside the whatsapp group then a uh, few people are asking about certificates so we'll share the certificates with your school but make sure that you have filled this feedback form those of you who have filled this feedback form only those student certificate will be shared with school so make sure you have uh, filled this feedback form just make sure that you have filled this feedback form for which link has been shared inside the chat okay then there was somebody who was asking that what is osia so osia is nothing but optical character recognition with the help of optical character recognition you are able to recognize hand written text you are able to recognize a printed text so right now if you put this image in front of you your camera won't understand that it is saying that fill the feedback form but once you have something called some part of artificial intelligence which is called as optical character recognition once you have implemented a, a program related to it then your camera will be able to tell that this is written fill the feedback form okay so there is someone who was asking can we export a program made in pictoblox uh, to a stand alone application or to other languages no you can't export it 
if you have made a project and said this, then you need to share it as a dot sv3 file. It is a scratch blocks file and it will only open with picture blocks. So whatever project that you are make, going to make, it will open inside the software only, but you can take videos or photographs uh, of the projects that you have made from the inside of this uh, software itself. So that is one topic. And if you are making a project related to your robotics or your Arduino programming, then there is a um, option here by which you can get a translated code in a C language. Okay. So related to board control, uh, board and sign in. Okay. So again, I'll just tell you guys, whenever you want to make a project related to artificial intelligence, make sure you have selected the board as revive. Make sure you have signed in into the Pectoblock software and then you click on add extension. Okay, once you have done the add extension, then you can select your extension and you can start making this script. Okay. So. Make sure you guys have filled in the feedback form. So. That's it for this session. Thank you all the school faculties. Thank you all the authorities who have uh, helped us making this session successful. Thank you all the parents and thank you all the students for joining us today. Um, that's it for this session. Bye bye everyone. Stay home, stay safe. Make sure you have filled in your feedback form to get your certificate for this session.
form is updated if you guys were facing any problems with the name of the uh, name of your school it, the form has been updated uh, you guys can fill your form now share the details of the form inside the whatsapp group as well you can just fill in the form from the whatsapp group as well